A big night for baseball on the show. It's the Chicago Cubs and the Milwaukee Brewers. First pitch coming your way next. So almost ready to get underway. And on the mound today, Freddie Peralta. What do you look for here? Four pitch guy. He's got some options to work with in terms of keeping hitters off balance. So we'll see how he decides to utilize those weapons through this start here and whether or not he's able to mix them all in early or if he wants to hold something back a little bit later, maybe second, third time through the order and give them something they haven't seen. It's tough when you know a guy's got that in his back pocket as a hitter. You really have to stay on your toes. Nico Horner in now takes ball one off the plate. That's inside. And a foul ball makes the count two and a one. Here comes a pitch. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Smash that one through the infield for the knock. When it's hit that hard, it makes it very tough on the infielders to make any sort of play. Seiya Suzuki getting ready to hit. Peralta checks over to first, and he's back. That's a strike across the top of the zone. Horner gets his lead at first with nobody out. Just missed. And a count one and two. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Just off the inside edge. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Swing and a drive, deep right field. Fraley going back, stretches out and hauls it in. Here's a look at the Cubs lineup. Ian Happ up to hit. High fly ball out to center field. He's got it. There's two away. And up to the plate comes Cody Bellinger. And a foul ball. Two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. There's the strike. And that's off. The inside edge. It's a ball and two strikes. The pitch. Right side, hard hit. They take the force out. That ends the frame. Cubs leave one, and now the Brewers will get their first cuts. No score. It's Major League Baseball on the show. here with my pal Singy and today's starting pitcher Justin Steele 
Well, he comes at hitters with a five-pitch mix, so for him, it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons. He may lean on one or two pitches, depending on how things are going and how things are working, but if he can control four or even five of those offerings, look out, hitters. It's going to be a tough day. He's really going to be able to keep those guys off balance. Bottom of the first, up now for Milwaukee, Christian Yelich. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. That's in there. Strike one. Kicks and deals. Just off the outside part of the plate. It's a good take. In the dirt, and the count's even at two. The lefty fires. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. The wide to kick the pitch. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Bogey just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count up at two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. And now it's William Contreras. Right field down the line, and that one slices foul. One out, base is empty. There's a strike. and misses it's a strikeout stood absolutely no chance on that slider right there and I don't mean to laugh but that's a tough one I mean pretty much a perfect strikeout pitch I mean it looks like a fastball middle in kind of has cutter action and it just bunches you up to where you can't get your hands through and the barrel to it and not much you can do unless you recognize the spin early and you spit on it Sal Fraley stands in here tried to hold back his swing there but went around Oh, one now. And that one is inside ball one. First two hitters get punched out on strikes. Take some notes from the dugout. When you get your chance, go up there and hit the ball hard somewhere. Bounce to the right side. Whips it to first. Three up, three down, inning over. Nobody left for Milwaukee. Scoreless after one. Dansby Swanson stands in. Swanson, former first round pick by the Arizona Diamondbacks. Vanderbilt player in college, college World Series player, all that good stuff, but really coming into his own. And the pitch is outside, ball one. Down the middle for a strike. And the count even at one. Ed Drummond, our umpire behind the plate in this one. Yeah, Boogie's a really fair umpire, both the pitchers and the hitters. So standard strike zone, he's consistent with it. And the great thing is you don't see players questioning the calls too much. So that's a good thing in this day and age. One up, one down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Christopher Morrell, the next to hit. You talk about the power and the speed together. Well, we knew he was going to be a stud just coming up, making his way through the minor leagues, and quickly at this level, an impact player. No score here in the second. Swung on, belted. That's back there. And in one hops the wall. Now he'll turn for second. Freilich hustles to get it in. And now a runner moves into scoring position as we look for the first run of the ball game. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way.
Now it's Jan Gomes. First pitch just misses. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Jan Gomes waits. Swing and he popped it off. He's under it. And there are two outs. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. And here's the first baseman, Michael Bush. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. That breaking ball is in for a strike, and quickly it is nothing in two. Go ahead, run at second. Here at the top of the second. And that one is inside. Come back into the mound. That's out number three. One left for the Cubs. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. The first baseman, Reese Hoskins. The pitch. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Hoskins swings and blasts a high fly ball. Deep left field. That's back there. Out of here. That should put a jolt into this home crowd. And they jump ahead in the second. It's 1-0. That's exactly what this crowd wanted to see in this spot. He blasted that pitch. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. Willie Adamas in the box now. No balls and a strike. But he's just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. And here it comes. That one finds the zone, and that is strike two. The shortstop takes the ball. One run across in the frame so far. Bottom half of inning number two. On its way to the corner, and that's a foul ball. The 2-2. Goes down looking. Well, I'm not really sure why he let that one go by. I mean, out of the hand, it had a lot of the strike zone. Sure, it had some good arm side run at the end to move to the outside part of the plate. But with two strikes, you got to be ready to swing it there, and you can't leave it in the umpire's hands. And first offering is fouled off. The wind and the pitch. In the dirt. And now it's even one and one. Now fly ball to right center. Bellinger sizes this one up. Makes the grab and there's two gone. Batting seven. 
Jack Centurio up now. He became the fifth youngest player to start on opening day in the divisional era. Singy, can you name the others? Well, Ken Griffey Jr. seems like a good guess for this one. That's right. I'll give you the others. Adrian Beltre and Robin Yao. Got it. Yao must be on that list twice because he was only 18 when he made his debut. Exactly. That one ripped. That skips over the fence, so it's an automatic double. Well, there's something really nice about getting yourself an automatic double like that. You get to stroll into second base without having to worry about a throw or getting your uniform dirty. And now you're just looking for the next guy to kind of do the same thing. Maybe put one in the gap so you can jog home as well. So two down. Bryce Terang up now for the Brewers. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Two outs and one in scoring position. Got it started a little too early. Strike one. That catches the zone for a strike. And the count, one and two. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Three. Swings and misses. Good job at damage control right there. Milwaukee strikes first on this solo jack. It's now 1-0. Well, one run game. Here's Nick Madrigal. And the pitch. Missing inside, and it's 1 0. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. Looking to get the tying run on base. Pitch misses there. Two and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. That one misses. And now three and two. Well, as a pitcher, when you make a big pitch down around the knees and don't get the call, it'll eat at you out there. So some handle it a little bit better than others. And right here, clearly letting the ump hear it a little bit. Outside, and that is ball four. That could be a tone setter for the inning. Four straight pitches and the leadoff batters on base. We'll see if the next guy waits until there's a called strike before he takes the bat off the shoulder. Here's Nico Horner. He's one for one, let off the game with a single. Wouldn't chase that time. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. Ground ball could be two. Good feed. That's one. On to Hoskins. Double play. As a former player, watching 5-4-3 double plays brings back some adrenaline. It's such an exciting play, and it's always a great reminder of baseball being such a team sport. Seiya Suzuki, the next Cub to hit. This one in the air right field. Fraley hauls it in to end the inning. Now, Andrew Monasterio. The third baseman. Andrew Monasterio. The pitch. That's in there. Strike one. Started to swing, held up. That's big right there, being able to check your swing. Think about the count swing. Instead of 0 2, he's sitting 1 1 against a really good arm. That one is absolutely belted. Suzuki going back. Can't get there. This one lands foul. And now it's one and two. That one hammered center field. 
Way back there. Gone. A soaring shot to center. And they add a run. It's 2-0. Well, he put a really nice swing on that one, and everything was on time, took a direct path to the ball, excellent extension, and just drove it out of here. Nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that. Back to the top of the lineup. Now it's Christian Yelich. That pitch in for a strike. Going one. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. Nobody on, nobody out with a run in here in the last half of the third. To the right side, and foul ball. With the big bats coming up and a home run already surrendered, he's really going to have to execute against these next couple of batters. The wind of the pitch. Foul ball left side, he'll see another. Caught him looking for the K. Now William Contreras now at the plate. His first at bat was a strikeout. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Pretty rare location right there, right down the middle. This guy paints the edges. I'm not sure if you're going to see that pitch again as a hitter. The 0 1. Fought off foul. Liner picked on the hop at first. The flip to the pitcher covering. Two away. Now batting. Right fielder. Sal Sal Fraylin up now for the Brewers. Grounded out his first time. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Two out, space is empty. Top of the zone for a called strike. He doesn't seem to like the pitch up. Hasn't offered on either one of those pitches. 0-2 count now. I think the guy's going to climb the ladder out there. Just off the outside edge. Going to count one and two. Lace down the line. Could be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. And that's a double. That was a thing of beauty. He may have been a little behind the pitch, but by getting that barrel into the hitting zone early on in his swing, he was able to meet it and still shoot a line drive down the line and left. Man in scoring position with two away. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. Pitch misses, and that's ball one. Runner at second, two down. Close one doesn't get the call, and it's 2-0. Oh. Man on second, two down. Hoskins pushes it foul. Fouls one off, two and two. Kicks and fires. And another ball. Willie Adamas. 
up next. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. So they pick up a run on two hits. No errors and a man left. Three innings complete. It's the Brewers two and the Cubs nothing. Now the batter now, Ian Happ. He's 0 for 1. And the pitch. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Right hander kicks deals. Swing it a foul straight back. Ground ball to the right side, and it goes just foul. Here's the 0-2. Ball one there. No, well, he's not afraid to fall into a two-strike count. Knows the strike zone very well, so much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike if he swings or not. In the air, right center. This is mashed way back and gone. He sends it out of here, and they're on the board. It's 2-1. A breaking ball on the inside part of the play requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics. If you fly open with the front shoulder, there's no way you keep that ball fair. An outstanding job mechanically. He deserves that home run. Bellinger up to hit. Pulled hard, but it's a foul ball. Holding on to a one run lead, top half of inning number four. Next pitch misses, and one and one. That one missing inside. Well, you get to this part of the order, yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there's some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. And yeah, the righty deals. Way high. Dansby Swanson on deck for the Cubs. Left hand batter waits. Got him swinging. Dansby Swanson, the next Cub to hit. Grounded out his first time up. Pitch misses outside, and that's ball one. The shortstop takes the ball. Well, I think he's trying to get a feel for where that one missed. I mean, it could have gone either way, but he looked a little shocked for a second there. The wind to kick the 2-0. And fouled off. One down, base is empty. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. That one just misses. Christopher Morell in the on deck circle. And the right hater deals, and he walked him. Got well, a great back and forth in that at bat. He had to lay off some really close pitches, and somehow Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Moved to first. Swanson back on a dive.
Morrell. The next to hit takes low for a ball. Way to lay off that pitch down. Swings through that. Man at first, one away. And he gets tied up right there. At the belt and fires. Got him swinging for the K. Had him out front for strike three. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels. And then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Here's Jan Gomes. He popped out his first time. And yeah, that's outside. Ball one. Right now, they're looking for something hit hard into the gaps. Give them an opportunity with two outs to score that run from first. And that one is lifted in the air. Freilich has a beat on it. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. But not before they're able to draw closer with this blast. And this is now a 2-1 ball game. Back after this on the show. Willie Adamas stands in. Went down on strikes his first time through. Steel back to work. There's a swing and a miss. Well, these Brewers do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way, and I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. Kicks and deals. That missed by a lot. Yeah, the count one and two. It's still relatively early, but with the pair of runs already on the board, the ripple effect of that high pitch count might set them up to do more damage later in this game. Bounce back to the mound, and it finds its way through for a hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Just kept it simple, played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. Owen Miller up now for the Brewers. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And now the lefty. And there's a foul ball. Ground ball left side could be two. Off balance feed, there's one. On to Bush. It's a double play. Well, that at bat had a lot riding on it. Definitely one of the bigger ones in this game. So that double play is going to be one we look back on when this thing is over. Big time execution, both on the mound and in the field to get two right there. Now a chance for Jackson Chorio. That catches the corner. Two down, nobody on. And now it's even up. Two down, nobody on. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. Here's a one two. Line drive, makes the catch in and over. So up now for Chicago, Michael Bush. Grounded out back to the pitcher his first time. 
You know, the right hander back to work. There's the strike. That misses. And yeah, the count even one and one. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Well, he went inside a couple of times and now outside. Hitter's not exactly sure where to look for this next pitch. Just misses with that one. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Nick Madrigal waiting to hit for the Cubs. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Righty delivers. On the ground, right side. Tosses the first. One away here in the fifth. That's a huge defensive play in the late stages of the game. It might not be the most challenging we've seen today, but it needed to be made. That's helping your team. Nick Madrigal, the next Cub to hit. He reached out a walk his first time. That smash towards center. Squeezes it. Two down. Fell off the bat. It looked like they might get that tying run on base. Maybe even extra bases. No dice, though. A little unlucky on that one. So they're down to their final out. Here's the second baseman, Nico Horner. That one fouled off. A one-run lead. And we're at the top of the fifth. Out towards right center field. Freilich after it. Makes the catch. Ball game. And the Brewers claim the win here behind some great pitching and defense. Well, a tight 2-1 ball game. Classic pitching and defense in this game. A lot of good execution. And neither team really beat themselves by way of mistakes. But ultimately, it came down to one or two key plays to make the difference for the win. And your final score here today, 2-1. They hang on to win it by a run. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Shambi saying so long.